Good morning. We are almost to Hollabird. I spent probably an hour and a half of my morning filming a reel that's probably going to end up being 10 seconds <laughs> of a morning routine. And I filmed it today because today is the most amount of time that I have in the morning to do something like that. So, like, I'm about to get to Hollabird around 11. Whereas at work, I get there anywhere between like 9 and 9.30. Well, I never get there at night, let's be honest. Between like 9.15 and 9.30. So um, if I'm waking up at 7.15, how much early do I need to wake up so I can film a morning routine video and then it's dark? So if you see the real, leave a comment saying the real ones know because I filmed that at like 9.30, 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Was not 7.15 like it's probably gonna say um but that's just how that's just how it is like when i would film morning routines i would film that straight up middle of the afternoon it would be 3 p.m perfect light coming in like we all know it's dark i guess with daylight savings it's not as dark in the morning but it's still pretty dark if you guys ever see some of my get ready with me's on instagram that i do in my room and it's like a little bit dark it's because i'm filming that before i go to work so, yeah, that was basically my whole entire morning. I feel a little sick. I don't know why, but I'm drinking a smoothie. I think I'm honestly just hungry and dehydrated. Um, so, on days when I go to Hollabird, that's the only thing that I do. I don't go into the office or anything. So, I just go there, on-site, create content for the client. So, I'll show you guys the little room that I usually use to film a lot of the stuff. And then I also go into the store. So there's like an office and then there's like the actual store that they have. They only have one store. It's like a local shop in Baltimore. Um, and so I go in there. They help me get some shoes. So I don't always have to go to the warehouse. They can actually just literally get the shoes for me like they would a customer. Um, and then they have tons of stuff in the store. Sometimes I create a little bit of content for stories to drive people into the store. So this is the room. I feel like I've shown you guys this before, but maybe not. So we got studio lights. This I actually always use for a backdrop. <laughs> Um, this little chalkboard thing. There's a boom mic, which I never ever use. Um, this is the carpet, so I always use this rolled up floor. And then that's the warehouse. So, um, I'm gonna sit down, do some computer work first, and then we will begin. Like I said, I wanna do some research and see if I can find some specific stuff I want to create. Uh, the owner isn't up right now in his office, so I'm sure he'll pop in and say hi when he gets in. This is the warehouse space. So they got shoes and then a couple aisles of like random accessories. So there was an email sent out about some new stuff that's coming. So I think I'm gonna try and find those. If I can't find them, I'll go downstairs and just <laughs> request them. But they're doing a sale right now. So I don't think I'm gonna promote that just because um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that stuff up in time, but I'm going to put it on the stories. So they have some limited edition features, camo socks. There's five new, no, there's two new colors of the Mizuno Wave Exceed Tour 5. So I might ask for that one um, in those two new colorways. And then they said that there were assets provided for the Innovate rock light ultra g320 which is a shoe so i'll see if i can find that that should be an email somewhere i might have to ask one of his um 
photographers to send that to me. So people really liked this style that I did a few times. So I think I'm gonna do that again. I just wanted to grab my keys so they can let me back in, but I'm just gonna go into the store and see if they can find it for me. I'm gonna check to see if it's on the wall because they have the product code and everything that I can write down. Wave Rider, Sky 6, that's what I kept seeing. Um, also, this is the store. So I got these huge shoe walls that go all the way around. Women's is over there. And then we got like pickleball stuff here. Random apparel. They do the rackets in there, like actually put the strings on, which is cool. Some Under Armour. This is a place where you can practice with your tennis racket. And then this is the Lulu section. So it's literally like a mini Lulu store, but this is what I mean about the sizes. Like, size two, two. So I've tried to do a try on before, but they don't have enough of the sizes that I need. But they have a decent amount of stuff and then tons of men's stuff too. But I don't know if this shoe is new. I don't think it is because they said there's just two new colors. I don't know why I can't find it. I just found a cigarette in the grill of my car and it feels like a hate crime. I feel like I feel like that's on purpose. How does that even happen? It looks like someone literally just took their cigarette and just put it out inside of my car. Very weird. Anyways, <laughs> that's a joke. Um, we are going to Kava. I haven't been to Kava in a while. Well, that's a lie. I go to Kava all the time, but I don't eat there. I just buy one of their really good sodas. But we're going to eat there today. Actually, maybe I should order first. Yeah. Let me order in the app and then pick it up. Because I think it's like 10 or 15 minutes you have to wait for the app. And sometimes I have to wait even longer than that when I get there. And I order it in advance. So, also, we got our <laughs> photos with Santa back. And I'm dying. Look at us. Look at this man. Please focus on my phone. So, um, love that. Glad we did that. Very fun. It was $14.28 after taxes. It is such a gloomy day outside. So I did want to give you guys a little update on this hair. So I installed it on Sunday. It's now Thursday. So it's been about five days. And it still looks like I just took it out of the package, which is great. I will say you start to see the wear of synthetic wigs probably on day 
five to day seven. So I feel like I'm starting to feel the ends getting a little bit drier from having to brush them. I've noticed I've had to brush through my hair a little bit more. Um, I'd say probably up until day three at night, like I did not have to brush my hair at all throughout the day. Like I could just run it through it once and we would be good to go. I feel like today is like a really good example of how the hair is wearing because I'm not just sitting at my desk. I'm moving around. I'm getting a little hot. I'm outside. I'm inside. Um, and it's been holding up really, really well. So I think this weekend what I'm going to do is do like a synthetic wash. And I'll show you guys how I do that and everything. But you basically just use a silicone mix and soak and wash the hair in that and it like completely restores the fibers and it looks brand new so it's even easier to do on hair that's straight because you don't have to worry about like the curl pattern or anything like that like it'll it's just gonna dry how it dries so I think I'm gonna do that this weekend and I'd say this wig probably will need that like once a week but I am shocked because I've tried a handful of synthetic wigs and this is definitely the best one so far. I will say, I think the number one reason why it's holding up so well is because it's not crazy long. Like, as you guys can see, this one's maybe like 18 to 20 inches. The longer it is, the more of a nightmare it is because it gets tangled in the back of your neck and the hair will tangle at the ends. So, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update because I was just thinking about it. I was like, huh, I don't feel like I'm wearing a synthetic wig. Like, this doesn't feel like a nightmare. So I guess we'll try out of these. Maybe this one. Not really sweet enough. Um, what would I like? Pineapple apple. This one is actually my favorite. We are headed home now. I just need to give them the shoes back. We got a little work to do at home, so it's like a half. I usually split my day in half. I do half here at Hollowbird, and then I do some work at home. And then we're gonna go to the gym. the gym so late except for days like today where I get to leave early and it's so crowded I don't like working out in the morning I'm not that type of person I like to just relax in the morning and I've gone through phases where I would go to the gym before I worked out but I feel like I don't I just don't want to wake up that early I really don't so I have to go after work and that's totally fine but it is really hard to stay consistent if I don't go the second that I leave the office and just go straight there and I feel like the drive is too long like I have just enough time to change my mind about going so 
I'm proud of myself today for going because I came home very comfy and I, I could just stay here, but we're going to go. So this is my outfit. Um, these are more of the Amazon leggings. So I wore the green ones in my Jamaica vlog. If you guys haven't seen that, uh, it's like an hour long. If you want like a nice long vlog, I'll link it somewhere there. Um, but I have them in orange, blue, and then the green that they sent me. I'll link them down below. I got a size small, highly recommend. This is the Lululemon Define jacket. I think I have two of these. This one has a hood, and then I have the other one that doesn't have the hood. And then I've got this fourth bra on that I can never remember the name for, but I will have it linked down below. I wear a size six or a size eight in all of the Lulu sports bras because of my lats. I just filled up my water. I have my aminos in the car and I'll probably take pump today, which is just a stim free pre-workout. And I will see you guys at the gym. You guys can barely see me, but I had such an amazing workout. Um, I filmed everything and I was just looking at myself in the footage and I was like, I can't believe I look like this. Like, I hope that doesn't sound weird or conceited because it's really not supposed to. It's just like, I started working out in 2015 and I just can't believe that I look the way that I do because I just never thought that it was possible. And I'm like getting emotional because I'm about to get my period. This isn't something I would normally cry over, but it's just like, it really is crazy because like, I didn't even want to come today. I had such a good time. I had such a good workout. I always have such a good time, even if it's a bad workout, but it's, it's just such a magical thing. That's why I got into fitness coaching because there's nothing quite like seeing other people find the things that they really like to do in the gym like to see it happen it just makes you so happy and obviously it makes me happy as a coach but even like seeing people on instagram like really get into stuff get really passionate about certain things even if it's not something that i might necessarily do workout wise um just to see like the mindset change and see people really passionate about just bettering themselves and their bodies I think it's such a wonderful thing. Um, so let me know if you guys wanna keep seeing workouts and stuff. It's a little bit of a hassle to film, but it wasn't bad today because I came to the gym really early, so it wasn't that busy. But 
I'm more than happy to do it. I usually just film my last set. I'll usually do like my whole workout and then I'll go to like a quiet spot and film my last set of every exercise. So I don't feel like my workout is being, you know, like changed because I'm like by myself in a certain area because I really like coming to the gym because I like the environment and there being a ton of people around. I know some people are the complete opposite, but I like that. And that's why I don't really like working out at home because <laughs> it's just not the same, but I'm dead from cardio. Just dying to be honest. <laughs> My kava, there's nothing in this. Why did I pick this up? For dinner, we switched wigs because the other one, I really need to wash the lace. And I should have done it when I was in the shower, but I didn't realize until after I got out of the shower, I was like, hmm, maybe I should have done that. So we'll do that another time. But we just threw this one on for now. So I'll wear this one tomorrow. Um, it's not glued down or anything like that. It actually doesn't really need any. It's really just the sides where like you can tell because of the ear pieces but i might just wear a hat i don't know but i'm gonna have that for leftovers and we're decorating the tree tonight <laughs> we're exporting the doggies are very tired <laughs> We are about to decorate the tree now, right, mommy? Yeah. Yay. She put the. Ornaments somewhere, but I'm not sure. What are these called? Hot cocoa. Um, what are those thingies called that you wrap around the tree? Oh, just for them. Oh. <laughs> Thought there was some fancy name. No. But yeah, so she was just doing that. Here they are. Oh boy, tasty! Looks tasty! This is the last two. Boy, the fire. <laughs> can I get... <laughs> can I get a shake? Can you shake my hand? You shake it? Are you gonna shake it? You gotta give me your hand, Bailey. Shake it. Thank you. Good boy. <laughs> Wait. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Yummy. So 90 Degrees sent me over this, like, gifting package, basically. Um, so they sent me this set, which I'm about to try on now. And then just bring it over. So, oh my god. It came in this box. And it actually came when we were still in Jamaica. And it had this really nice bow wrapped around everything. Um, but there's that set. And then they also sent me a robe, which is so nice. It's this black robe. I want to be a robe person so bad. My mom wears a robe in the house all the time. And I'm like, I don't understand. He. <laughs> I'm gonna try on these leggings, which are like this faux pleather, and they're wide leg. You know, I love my wide leg. So this is their three-piece rib lounge set. They sent me a size small. So the third piece is a little scrunchy, which I thought was really cute. And then you get a little knit hoodie and some joggers. Which looks super comfy. And they have a pocket on the back. So I'm gonna try these on real quick. And then we're gonna decorate the tree. No, what you do to me between me and you. I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced.
Sure. Here's Apple Music. No! <laughs> Alexa! Alexa! Stop the music! What is going on? You should on? just say continue. She's like, alright, I'll just do whatever I want. <laughs>